Okay. We're at right. Yeah. I'll. <laughs> Sorry. We're at 227 Bridge Street at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. The theater is owned currently and has been operated for the last 10 years by the Association for the Colonial Theater, which is a local nonprofit organization. The, the ACT, which is the Association for the Colonial Theater, purchased the theater 10 years ago from a non, another nonprofit organization, which purchased it from Sam La Rosa to save the theater. Sam La Rosa, it's understood, was the installer of the existing organ lift in the theater, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Here we have the organ console that will be riding on the lift. It's a uh, 1922 World Sir theater organ, uh, and the weight is between seven and 800 pounds. This is the auditorium of the Colonial Theater. Um, the organ lift, as I said before, we believe was installed by Sam LaRosa in the mid-1970s. During investigation, in order to install the organ lift, it was discovered that Ellen and I never reviewed or approved the organ lift. Um, in the 70s, the stage area was expanded by Sam. Originally the stage ended back at the proscenium. This front portion was hand excavated and the organ lift was installed below the center area. Um, to access the organ, there are wooden panels that are removed. These are proposed to be replaced with new structurally sound panels that will be individually removed. At this time, we'll remove them and we'll take a look at them. Okay. This is the existing platform, which will remain. New carpeting will be installed. It is also a rotating turntable, which will be utilized. When the console is installed on the platform, there will also be a um, organ player's operation control panel installed as part of the project. Ahead. This is the current location of the controls for lifting and lowering the current lift. This is proposed to be replaced with a um, code compliant keyed unit, but its location will be still here visible to the lift and the pit. Is it down now? Yep. Yeah.
front lift has upper and lower control limit switches. As you can see here, this is the upper control limit switch, which will stay in place. Okay, we are now under the stage of the Colonial Theater, walking down the hallway to the organ pit area itself. This is the entrance door to the pit. It's a currently rated door. A proper hardware and electric interlock will be installed on this door. Currently there is none. This is under the stage where the organ lift is. Um, all the storage items in here will be removed. Um, now the organ lift will go up. Part of the project will be the installation of correct lighting. So the floor lamp will be removed. and the limit switch stop the lift. To the left of the door, when you come into the um, pit area, is the disconnect for the organ lift itself, as well as the electrical supply. Everything is in conduit down here. Now, this is the, the actual pit itself for the organ lift. This is the mechanism. It was made by Warsaw Elevator Company, Warsaw, New York. There is no identifying marks on it. Um, we did have a structural engineer, which we have a report from, who did research on it and analyzed this existing shaft and the um, lifting capabilities and holding capabilities of the uh, organ lift itself. He analyzed it to be able to hold and lift 4,000 pounds safely. The organ pit itself is concrete block. All the surrounding walls are concrete block, concrete floor. <coughs> there is um, under two feet of depth for the actual pit area. Like I said, this is a lifting mechanism. Over here is the actual lifting motor. Um, part of the project will be proper steel plate cover that will be put over the, the motor area. But the motor here with its electrical supply here and then the electric whip for the actual motor that actually rotates, as I spoke before, the platform. This is the existing lower limit switch, which is conduit piped and is operational for the organ. The underside of the platform is all steel framed with supplemental wood decking.